What is up guys, welcome back to a new video and today I'm actually going to be bringing you the life hatch of my new winter season divine dragon and uh, I'm just going to let you guys guess who it is uh, you'll probably know because I suggested it to a lot of my fans they're like Stefa who should I go for Tengu or being the sorcerer or Tanrad being the warrior and this is who I went for I'm just a big fan of uh, of its class um and obviously I went for uh, the warrior. Uh, he, he looks pretty as well. Tarand, he looks really pretty. Um, but yeah, he's going to start off with Intimidating Roar, Explosive Shield, White Spell. Like the one that Sigurd had a while ago. Uh, he's now back to uh, Rising Phoenix. And then Cannon Resist and the Spitfire Terror Resist. That looks badass. That combo with the Spear. Just having a dragon with a Spitfire Terror Resist is... Uh, it's pretty sweet um, and this explosive shield is going to be mental um, so we're going to actually do some raids right away uh -huh, and he's going to learn the explosive shield and the intimidating roll right away at level one all right who am i going to remove uh, i'm obviously going to remove uh yeah it's got to be you bird get the fuck out of here okay 18k start off with um he's gonna go to level six with the orange tier at level 7, I'm going to need the Green Revolution Stone, and the max attack power he's going to have is 227k. Level 13 is when he's going to get to gold. His max attack power in that tier is going to be 1.396 million. Next is level 21. That's when he's going to evolve to Platinum. His max attack power is going to be 3.658 million. Then he's going to move to level 29. That's when he's going to get to the Sapphire region, and he's going to have 6.945 million. And then he's going to get to level 36 with uh, the Garnet tier, and he's going to have 18.649 million. Remember, this was no runes equipped, no research. So yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty strong. We're actually going to go equip some stuff right away. Hi guys, I'm back here uh, and. Uh, at the moment you can see him he's level nine i had to take a while to actually you know show you guys what he could do because he's still a bit weak starting from the orange tier that's what you'd expect and also uh, i was waiting for equipping runes because i was actually i had to open some some silver chests and i was actually waiting for for that to happen and then i actually uh, also got a prize which if you actually look at it on his branch you can actually see a few runes that are given us presents as you unlock each uh, each step of the way and uh, you actually get a legendary double blast rune roughly around the first start of the of the branch and i actually got it and obviously i uh, i gave it to him right away i maxed it out as well so he's actually rocking at uh, 198k at the moment with no uh boosts on him just him normal like that um i had a common double blast but uh, I guess uh, that's uh, that's 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 a lot better. Uh, obviously, I gave him rare wisdom. I gave him some rage, and I obviously need to give him more stuff than this. This is just you know for the time being, he's gonna get to a lot better than that. But uh, we're actually gonna see if he can do one of my invaders, one of my invader uh, villages. And uh, I actually don't know if he can. So this is probably the first time I'm gonna see if he if he can do it. It's, it's gonna be live, so it could, it could be a huge fail or it could be a huge success. And uh, we're actually gonna see how he goes. Should we give him something else, like Rejuvenate, just in case? So let's see how he actually handles this base. It's a 500k defense base, so it's not easy. But here he goes, hopefully he can actually uh, end this base. I pretty sh confidently actually manages to do it, um, to be quite honest with you. I mean, he has pretty strong spells, and the shield is devastating. Uh, it does a lot of damage, and it, uh, it actually covers from a lot of damage as well. So... Um, I'm pretty confident he's actually going to be able to do it. Uh, to be honest, uh, also these dragons, being garnet, they uh, become breedable later. They evolve later as well. Usually, uh, at a level eleven, um, a a typical sapphire dragon that would end up in sapphire leaf would evolve to uh, to the gold already to the gold tier but uh, this guy actually evolves at level 13 to the gold tier so i have to do two more levels than usual to get him to the million mark which kind of sucks but that you know depends how you see that because this guy i think he actually goes up to level 35 or um, or if not higher than that and the garnet mythic actually goes to level 45 so um yeah 
they take some time. They take some time. But uh, when you get there, you know, you'll you'll like the results. So yeah. That's basically what they are. That's all they are. That's all there is to it. You know? It's just hard work. And yes, I managed to do it. I thought I was gonna do it without the uh without the rejuvenate, but apparently I had to use it. Which kind of sucks, because Rejuvenate spell is actually quite handy to have in your store. That sucks. That's a let down. I'm going to try it again without using the Rejuvenate now. And to prove it even more, I'm not even going to put it on. Alright, let's try it now. I haven't used enough spells in the first attack. But, uh, yes, I believe this dragon is uh, is extremely strong. A lot of people went with, with Tengu, and he has incredibly strong spells, don't get me wrong. He's a beast. But I'm just not a fan of sorcerers. I don't know why. I'm just not a big fan of sorcerers. I hate the swiping. Like, it's it's tedious. It's annoying. Like, I let's not talk shit, right? Like, after a while that you do this, like, after a few 20, 30 attacks, even attacking with, like, the most badass dragon becomes tedious. So... I mean, it's a tedious thing. It just is, you know. And uh, you know, being able to uh, to at least uh, point and shoot at what you want that's that's handy. The swiping it becomes tedious. It becomes tedious, man. It just becomes tedious too too quickly. Uh, he looks gorgeous, though. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. He looks absolutely gorgeous. But too bad he's a sorcerer. I'm pretty curious. I really hope that the hunter is as strong as Nightshade. Nightshade was the previous uh, event dragon. Event divine, sorry, I should say that. He was the full divine dragon. But uh, that hunter is a beast. That hunter is so complete. Like, it's for real. He's so complete. And I hope this, this hunter is going to be like that as well. I really hope so. If they if they release two beast hunters like back to back, that would be incredible. I really hope that. And I hope the mythical Garnet Divine Dragon isn't a sorcerer again. Cause that would be fucking annoying, man. Like I'm only hoping from the picture though he doesn't look like one, judging. Yeah, he looks like he looks like a warrior to be honest, looking at it. Like at its at, at its stand, because usually sorcerers are either serpentine looking dragons or yeah, they just look weird. But this guy actually looks like a like a warrior. But yeah, I hope the hunter is a beast, man. Coming soon. It's gonna come out in January. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the Tehran video. Um, I hope it was informative, and for you guys, I just hope it gave you an insight to uh, to make a sh make a choice actually, because some of you guys are still trying to decide which one to go for. I still have team members that are trying to decide which one to go for. Obviously, I have team members that are probably going to go for both, and probably going to get the mythical as well. But you know, I'm talking general here. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, take care and peace out, guys.